In this demo, we are going to determine the first current value where the relay trips instantaneously and measure the trip time. Please watch videos 1 and 2 if you have not seen them already. Video 1 will familiarize you with the safety precautions that are involved, and video 2 will show you how to connect the overcurrent relay. In order to pause the video in between steps, press the button of the video. Press it again in order to restart it. We are going to use a pulse ramp in flex mode. First, we set an output current of 4.5 amps for a duration of 5 seconds in order to supply the relay and then we turn off the trigger. Now, please add an additional state by moving the focus to the top left and pressing the Add State key. Press the Next key to display the next tab, which will allow us to define a transition into the next state. The default step change setting remains unchanged. Press Next again and set a value of 48 amps for a duration of 0.1 milliseconds. This short state will be used as our starting point for the pulse ramp, which we are going to define now. We want to define pulses that increase by half an amp per step. In between pulses, the relay is given 20 seconds to safely reset at a current of 4.5 amps. Each pulse should last for 200 milliseconds, which is just long enough to allow an instantaneous trip to occur. Now end the ramp at 52 amps, Set the trigger to a signal change at IN1, where the trip signal has been connected. This completes our setup. We can start the test now. The test will run for about one minute. The shots are very short and cannot be seen in the display. The timeout counter always counts to 20 seconds between two shots. In this case, the relay has tripped at a current of 49 amps within 179 milliseconds. This completes our overcurrent relay demo. Please disconnect the relay and put it back into its compartment in the yellow case.